Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good evening, I'm Jonathan Bass in for Lee Solomon. We're going to start with a look at our high temperatures today. Got up to 89 in Ben Lomond today, 86 in Santa Cruz, 70 in Aptos. Inland areas got into the low 80s to the low 90s, 91 in Morgan Hill, Gilroy 92, Hollister 86, Aromas 81, San Juan Batista 86, and 85 in King City, 83 in Soledad, 73 in Salinas. 66 Pacific Grove, a couple of 69s in Pacific Grove, in Pebble Beach and Carmel, and 77 in Carmel Valley. I want to take a look at the high temperatures in California today and specifically focus on the Central Valley where we had mid to upper 90s, 97 in Redding, 98 in Fresno and Bakersfield, and compare those to tomorrow's forecast highs where we're seeing temperatures generally drop two to three degrees compared to what we had today. We'll take a look at the reason for that in just a moment. We'll start with the satellite imagery. We've got this northwest to southeast motion of the marine clouds on the California shoreline. So that means basically we've got a ridge overhead, but we've also got cold air to our northwest. We can see that in this counterclockwise circulation here and in this large trough out in the Gulf of Alaska. To the southeast, we've got a ridge of high pressure that really comes into view here in our water vapor imagery. You can see this large ridge here and again this larger mass of cool air. And we're seated pretty much right in the center of these two air masses, a little bit on the ridge side. So that's our warm temperatures for today. Tomorrow, we've got this trough passing by to our north. That's gonna knock our temperatures down just a couple of degrees, and that's why we're seeing those lower temperatures in the Central Valley tomorrow. So the biggest impact's going to be in our inland areas. But notice that as we go through Sunday, Monday, this ridge to our southeast builds, and so we're looking at the warmest day to be Monday. We can see that with these oranges and these, these reds in the upper atmosphere, but notice there's not a whole lot of change as we move through Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So basically we're looking at a warm up through Monday and then holding on to those warm temperatures as we move through the rest of the week. In terms of cloud cover, notice that we do get our marine clouds moving into the region tomorrow. And that's going to be the pattern through the week. We're going to see these late night and early morning low clouds. And that's because even though we've got high pressure here, we're not getting excessively high pressure to our northeast. And that's what would really give us offshore flow but we're not getting that offshore flow, so we're going to have our coastal air conditioning in place even as we warm up in our inland areas this week. For tonight, we're going to have clouds start to move into the bay from the south. They'll be slow to fill in the coastline, but by midnight and into the early morning hours, coastal areas will be under cloud cover. We'll get some intrusion into our inland valleys as well. Most of our higher elevations are going to remain above the clouds through the evening. Then late morning to about midday tomorrow, we'll clear out those clouds and we'll have most areas in sunshine that we'll probably get some lingering clouds again around the Monterey Peninsula and a breeze tomorrow about 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tonight, 52 to 58 will be your temperature range. We'll remain clear inland, partly cloudy on the coast and highs tomorrow, 68 in San Francisco, 77 Redwood City, 83 in Boulder Creek, 85 in Ben Lomond, and 82 in Scotts Valley, 81 Santa Cruz, Aptos, 74, 78 Aromas, 83 San Juan Batista, a couple of 87s in Morgan Hill and Gilroy, King City, 84, 77 in Gonzales, Salinas, 70, 64 in Pebble Beach, and another 64 in Marina, and Carmel Valley, 76 degrees. KSBW eight-day forecast for the coast. We're looking at temperatures to be in the mid-60s to the upper 70s tomorrow, and then through the rest of the week, mid-60s to low 80s, just subtle changes from day to day. Inland, a little bit cooler tomorrow than we were today, and then we warm up through Monday, and then we hold on to those mid-80s and mid-90s all the way through into next weekend. Okay, very right. good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our weather quiz now. So, why is Antarctica colder than the Arctic? Is it because the Arctic has more water, because Antarctica has more ice, or is it both those things? I'll go with both. It's both, that's right. Water releases heat and ice reflects sunlight, so there you go. All right, very good. Thank you, John. Sure thing.